You're watching Sun TV, broadcasting to the world from studios in Providenciales, in the beautiful by neutral Texas and Caicos Islands. Sun TV, your source for real news as it happens. I'm Ibarra Libru, and thanks for watching Sun TV. It is said that success is a journey and not a destination, and that journey is defined by the amount of hard work and dedication which is applied to whatever you do. Alphine Pitter is a classic example of what can be achieved when you put your heart and soul into your work. She was recently rewarded by being promoted to general manager of West Bay Club Hotel, which is now being managed by Grace Bay Club. In an exclusive interview with Sun TV, a very humble but proud Miss Pitter talks about her well-deserved promotion. Miss Pitter, who hails from the island of North Caicos, gave thanks to God for her elevation. She also singled out her husband, who she said played a special role in her success. Um, I knew that one day, I knew that one day this moment would come. I wasn't expecting it right then. Um, but the, the, what was very special for me was not just being told that you're going to be a general manager. Um, this is my fifth promotion in, um, in this industry and in working for Grace Bay Club. But what is, what is really special for me about this promotion is being a general manager under the Grace Bay Resort umbrella. That means a lot you know for a company that I've worked with for 17 years like I said this is my fifth promotion and to be able to hold the title of general manager under that company means a lot to me when D as she is affectionately known returned home with a degree in medical technology she could not find a job in that field but she refused to let that be an obstacle she shifted to the tourism sector, and now she has no regrets. After returning home from college with my bachelor's degree in medical technology, um, unfortunately, or maybe looking back today, I can say, fortunately, <laughs> I was not able to uh, find a job in that industry. So I decided to um, seek employment elsewhere, and I ended up on the doorsteps of Grace Bay Club. Um, I started as a front desk receptionist. I had absolutely no intentions of staying in this industry. For me, it was finding a job um, at that time so I could stop nagging mommy and daddy for money for everything. I just wanted to have a job to just make some money and uh, push hard to get my job in the medical industry, which I studied for, which is in the lab. Um, so that's why I started, as a front desk receptionist. I worked as a front desk receptionist for a number of years. Um, I believe it was around four years I started doing reservations I was always a person who always wanted to 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 learn more and know more um, so within a very short time I was also doing front desk and reservations I um, my next promotion my first promotion actually was uh, front office manager I was never a supervisor I never held the title of a supervisor I was promoted from a front desk um, receptionist slash reservations to front office um, manager. Those who know Ms. Pitter are not surprised that she has reached this high and far in the tourism industry. She has earned and commands the respect of her bosses and colleagues with whom she has worked for the past 17 years. While she held many positions during her career, Ms. Pitter told Sun TV that it was manager at Grace Bay Estates that was the defining moment of her career. So I managed front office uh, for quite a number of years that's uh, uh, of all of my management positions that was uh, the position that I held for the longest as a front office manager um, during that time that was when we expanded uh, the Grace Bay Club and we added the villas I opened the villas and shortly after opening the villas um, I was promoted to executive assistant manager of rooms um, where I was responsible for um, a number of departments which was not just front office so it was a difference for me but um, it was good it was one that I was prepared for and ready for and um, my next promotion after that was um, manager of the estate 
and that was the cream of the pie for me. Um, I became a state manager uh, July 1st of 2007. That's probably the only date of any promotion that I can remember. <laughs> July 1st. And um, at that time, the estate was uh, pretty much at the second level, just being built. So as manager of the estate, I was responsible for the opening of that resort and uh, of that section of the resort and um, every aspect of the opening. So it was, a, it was a huge challenge for me. It was a tremendous learning experience. It, I mean, the, the, it, it was, I believe I became a lot more mature. It was, it was just a tremendous experience um, in my career path. So after opening the estate, I opened the estate successfully. Um, and after opening the estate, I manage, I remain a state manager where I manage all aspects of the operation. As you know, the estate is operated as a resort within a resort at um, Grace Bay Club. It's the exclusive section of the property. And um, so I manage all aspects of the operation. The new hotel general manager said that discipline and focus are important requirements for success. She also encouraged persons to give the tourism industry an opportunity to be successful. First of all, um, with any any job any job not just in the hospitality industry you have to you have to um, uh, have a, 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 a certain level of discipline within yourself first of all you have to you have to know what you want you you have to believe in what you want believe that you can achieve it and um, that's where it starts that's where it starts um, let me just say that uh, I mentioned earlier that uh, when I started in this industry, I had no intentions of stay. But shortly after joining the Grace Bay Club as a front desk receptionist, I realized shortly after that that I had a passion for this industry. And the more I became a part of the job, the more the job became a part of, of, of me. So that is where my discipline began. Um, I like I said I always wanted to, to, to learn more but I would say to, to persons out there first of all um, give the industry an opportunity remember I, I, I had no intentions I, I you before coming to Grace Bay Club you would never tell me that I'm gonna work I would be working at a hotel or in the hospitality industry my answer to you would have been no way okay so I first say to a lot of the uh, the persons out there is to give give this industry an opportunity this is our bread and butter and this industry needs us okay in the future we need more local persons being named general managers of of luxury resorts here in Turks and Caicos as I am um, today so give it give it give it an opportunity okay and when you come in you 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 might very well find it just as I have you know what it's not bad I like it I like it okay um, I always say to when I do my orientation with new employees um, I get this very question very often and I always say to them be flexible work with a flexible mind okay never limit yourself to just what you've been hired to do I know it's sometimes it's hard you get um, um, feedback from other employees like oh where you going working in happen before what you helping out in housekeeping for you're not getting paid for that you're a front desk receptionist stop letting them use you do not listen to those comments those are the comments and the type of of advice that will keep you in one position for years or for the rest of your life do not listen to it okay every opportunity you have to go into another department learn something different help somebody with something that's probably not in your work description job description do it do it those are the also the qualities that um, employers are looking for people that that sends a strong message that you want to grow you have the potential to grow and believe you me the those are the, the I believe that was one quality that Mark and Nikhil uh, saw in me Many years ago, you know, when I when when Mark joined the Grace Bay Club, actually, I was I was just about to 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 to, to resign. I wanted to to move on and to go elsewhere. And he said to me, he said, Adolphine, I see a lot of potential in you. He said, stick with it, stay with me. 
He said, I promise you, you're not going to regret it. Just, just hang in there. Hang in there with me. We're going to do this together. I promise you, you're not going to regret it. And, you know, years and years later, I have to say that I haven't proven him wrong as yet, okay? And overall, I say to you, you have to always possess a positive attitude, okay? A positive attitude. I always try to encourage, especially um, my, you know, Turks and Caicos staff is to to get rid of the negative attitude. Stop thinking about all of the negative things all the time. Oh, they bring in this one and they get this one here. And, and when we focus our energies on those things too much, it keeps us back, okay? Allow a God, allow a God to, 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 to handle things, okay? Focus on your job. If you feel that something is wrong or something is happening that shouldn't be happening, just leave it to God and that's what I did. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I've given this advice to many, many staff along the way. Leave it to God. You focus on your job. You focus on your job. It will be fixed. Dr. Carlton Mills, the Manager of Development and Local Affairs at Grace Bay Club, was full of praise for Ms. Bitter. This is certainly a historical day for Grace Bay Resorts. It's an indication that an individual, particularly a Turks and Caicos Islander, who works hard, who is dedicated, and committed can elevate to the top and this is why we want to commend and congratulate them Adelphine Pitto and and the company on this move it's the, the company has identified this talent for over 17 years and um, with Nikhil as our mentor it's it's an indication that um, our company is committed to promoting Turks and Caicos Islanders if they have the passion for this industry if they have the commitment and they have the dedication. And we see all of this in, in Adelphine. And, and that is why today is a historical day for us here at, at Grace Bay Resorts. And um, Adelphine has now been promoted. Adelphine is a leader. Um, she works with us uh, on the Grace Bay Resorts Community Foundation. And um, she's dedicated. She, she has a vision. She, she knows what she is about. Um, she, she is committed. Um, she is inspiring. She is innovative. She is an individual who can work on the minimum supervision. Um, so sh she's just an outstanding individual, and she has that drive. She has that enthusiasm, and above all else, she has that passion for what she does. And this is why she's she has elevated to this position today. It's not with favoritism. It's because of that dedication, that commitment. Um, and, and if you notice, um, her background basically was she was a medical. Um, she studied medical technology, um, she, and um, but now she's in hospitality. And um, in hospitality, we just basically need that passion, that positive attitude, and all of these qualities Adelphine brings to this industry. And I'm just hoping that um, other locals will follow her. And um, once you follow that pattern, you have that passion, you have that positive attitude, you can elevate to the top. That is what was required in this industry. And um, sometimes we as, as, as Turks and Caicos Islanders f uh, don't want to uh, give our full commitment to, to what we do. Um, we, we are always being accused of a, 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 um, our, our work ethic. It is not positive enough. And um, I, I, I think, uh, again, going back to Delphine, Adelphine, Adelphine demonstrates this kind of positive attitude. It's really the, the attitude and, as I said, the passion. She, she, she demonstrates you know, that desire. This, this industry demands more than, it's, it's not really a nine to, to, to five job. It, it, demands going beyond the call of duty, as we say in the Turks and Caicos Islands. And, um, you know, th th that is what she has demonstrated. I'm Iver Liebru, and thanks for watching Sun TV News. Join us again tomorrow, where we bring you real news as it happens, directly to your computer or mobile device.